is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by my test. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, the man many of these white fans have come out to see here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the giant. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! One of the best in the business, Herb Mike. Dean, is our referee ready. tonight. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Uh, some separation from his clutch position. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh, the hook lands. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He blocked that punch. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg.
well. It's one thing to have length, it's another one. Oh, the, the, the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, nice. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Oh, he's hurting bad here. Able to check that kick as well. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Lead kick is true there by Lee. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Lee's shot is blocked. Fighter lands a kick to the head now. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, big shots getting through. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, both. Both landed. Oh, oh, huge oh. left. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. Yeah. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed Ready. martial arts striking. Good. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jab, too. Able to block that one. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots. Today. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just... Oh, the accuracy will land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Get right here. doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. 
Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stands. Oh! When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, man. Oh, he's got to try to finish here. Big right hand there. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, that's a sense of flow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. He is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Oh, man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. All right, now you see some visible damage on that calf. We'll keep an eye on that. You gotta watch it. I mean, this kick is so damaging. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. He's throwing these punches and combinations really dictate the face to his opponent. I need more strength. Lands the overhand punch to the head. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally, I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back the fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut. What? Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, just opening up on him now. Oh. Five minutes, DC, one of the best rounds of the year. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. 
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great. That is such toughness. But now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter because a fighter never really wants to give you anything, but he can't help himself. Oh, man. Straight right hand now, just misses. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round. Oh, another one. He's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. Tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Leg kick is true. Does a great job of mixing up his strikes. Lands another leg kick. Lee's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Another power. Oh. He's got him hurt here. Now we're going. Oh, beautiful play shot to the leg. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked at the Anderson Silva situation. Man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Two minutes to go. Both fighters throwing heat now. And now the jab gets through. Let's get that takedown and win the round. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Lee's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Nice shot there by the Nice punch there. It's not over. Checks that leg kick. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Head off the floor. Oh, oh. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Nice defense to block the elbow. All right, single power right back. time now. Right back. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. you got to address this now because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not going to let, let you off the hook. You've got to move, you've got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Nice kick. Lee's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. you got to think the ringside position is going to get called in here in a moment. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he landed. Great job. Oh, That's God. three rounds. We're now headed to the championship Stop. rounds. All right, there's the end of the round. High intensity, high drama. The nose is severely cut up right now. We'll see what the cut man can do to try to maximize these 60 seconds.
All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready to fight. Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Lee's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like he's after that offer in DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Come on, bud. Let's get those heels working now. Throws that team. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. Checks the leg kick. More than one, more than one. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Doubling up on the jab. Oh, hands there. Somehow his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Keeping him honest with the jab. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Oh, we got blood now, folks. Doctor might need to step in shortly. We got a huge situation here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. There it is. Now he's running him up. Nice positional control here. You gotta fight back. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, big, big shots here. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired and that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. And he connects with the punch there. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, and you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final bill. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 30 seconds to go in the round. High cross, baby. High 
just missed with the left there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lee's left leg would appear to be compromised at this point in time. You see he's limping, having a hard time putting weight on it, and it appeared as though it was that last kick that did the damage. Oh, horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in, and if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Fifth and final round. Goes upstairs with the kick. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Back to the feet now. Beautiful leg kick lands. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now. A huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Giants. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his 